Hey Aries, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. For Aries this week, Nine of Swords is here for Aries. We have the Ten of Wands. Ooh. We have the Five of Cups. What is stressing you out? What is worrying you? Some of you could be worried about work right now. Maybe you're worried about financial matters. Some of you are just going through something emotionally. You could be thinking a lot about your past this week. With the Nine of Swords, some of you may be struggling sleeping as well. You may str struggle with insomnia this week, or you may have been struggling with that this past week, okay? And vice versa, like I always say, the stories could be flipped or reversed for you or your person. So put the characters where they go for your personal situation. Yeah, there's something with work here. Eight of Pentacles, like I said, could be someone struggling with money or there's been money issues, <clears throat> issues surrounding work or employment as well. There could be uh, issues surrounding like where you live. I feel like some of you, you've been working on a project and this is just it's just been difficult or hard to get something off the ground as well is what I'm getting. You've been putting in a lot of work towards something and it's just been like, oh, I'm drained. I'm tired. Something is stressing you out here. Okay. Yeah. You're working hard, very hard. I see you working very hard towards something. Okay, Nine of Swords. What is this energy for Aries for this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Nine of Swords. What is this stressful energy here? Could be dealing with the Capricorn for some of you. Okay, Queen of Swords is here. And the Moon energy. There could be, uh, I also feel some secret addictions that someone could be struggling with or dealing with. Could be any type of addictions that someone could be masking, okay? Someone is keeping this energy to themselves. I also feel this energy of someone struggling with like obsessive emotions or obsessive thoughts. Eight of Cups, they could be longing for you. Uh-huh, seeing you as their wish with the star card. And Two of Wands, someone could need to heal they're going through a lot mentally. Someone is suffering mentally here over a, making a decision, trying to figure out the right path to go down. Two of Wands, show me. Ace of Wands, someone is feeling very fired up here to make some type of offer. Knight of Wands or uh, Knight of Pentacles, excuse me. Page of Pentacles, wanting to talk here. Hanging man, but getting choked up is what I feel with this hanging man. Could be a Pisces. Someone is getting choked up, not knowing what exactly to say or which direction to take is what I'm getting. Ten of Wands, show me. Show me this Ten of Wands energy, please, for Aries. Page of Cups now with the Emperor. Four of Swords. This person does not know what to do. They don't know what to do. Someone is feeling very overwhelmed. They could need to talk to you about something. Four of Swords. They haven't been able to talk to you. Show me. Nine of Cups. The World card. And the Ten of Swords. Yeah, they may feel like you don't want to talk to them as well. Someone is feeling like this is a cycle that has closed out or they may feel like you want to close this cycle out and this is hurting this person. They're feeling very weighed down by this with that 10 of wands energy sitting right there in the middle. What is this person wanting to say with that page of cups? King of pentacles, the horror font could be a Taurus for some of you and you queen of wands. This person wants something solid with you as far as a relationship with the King of Pentacles, the Harfont. They could possibly want marriage or just a long-term relationship. They want a connection with you. Yeah, King and Queen of Pentacles. That's what they want, what they desire. Knight of Wands, the Strength card. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, that's why I'm saying, whoa, three of swords. You got to tell this person, you got to choose. You can't have both of us now. 
You can't have both of us. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, some of you are dealing with an earth sign that, that wants you and another person. They can't have both now. Uh-uh. No, no, no. That's why I said this person feels stuck, like hung up, like choked up, like they... They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do or what to choose, what path to go down, because this could be a third party. Be careful of this person trying to have you. They uh, they could be in a relationship or already dealing with someone, King and Queen of Pentacles, because at first I was seeing it as them just wanting you, but they could want you and another person with that Knight of Wands strength card. Three of Wands. And remember I said someone could be dealing with addictions. Ooh. You could be like an addiction for them. Okay? With that Ace of Wands energy. Feeling very passionate. Ooh. Five of Cups. Show me. Show me this Five of Cups. Ooh. Six of Swords. King of Swords. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Knight of Cups, yeah. See, I feel like if this person is dealing with someone who they're not getting along with, they're not having fun with, they it's like they want to come and have fun with you. Knight of Wands energy. Be careful, Aries. Show me this person's intentions with Aries. Page of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. See, that juggling shit. Uh-huh, page of wands, very flirtatious, knight of cups is very fun, flirty, very flirtatious energy. But then it's like, oh, well, I don't know, two of pentacles, I don't know if I want a relationship. What's that two of pentacles? Show me. Ace of swords, should I tell Aries the truth? Kaboom, it's going to shock them. Scorpio energy with the eight of pentacles. <sighs> Three of Wands, Seven of Cups. Be careful that this person doesn't keep you waiting while they're keeping their options open, okay? They need to work on their shit before they come to you. I was about to say, how is Aries going to feel? Eight of Swords just popped out. How will Aries feel about this connection or how will Aries respond to this person? Death card, Scorps energy is here. Eight of Wands. You're not going to want to be trapped in this. Right now, you may feel anxiety or nervousness or you may just feel tense when you think about this situation or this person, but you will end it and go your own way if you feel like this person is a player. You want something stable. You want something solid. But you could feel like this person is a player. Three of swords. Mm. Show me Aries energy toward this person. Will of fortune. Seven of wands. King of cups. Yeah, you're going to guard your heart. You're going to guard your heart. When it comes to this person, King of Cups, <clears throat> some of you could have a water sign coming in. Yeah, you may end up with a choice. You may also feel a little confused by this person's actions or behavior because you may feel like I do have feelings for you, but... What are your intentions? That's why I say you may feel a bit nervous when it comes to fully opening yourself to this person. Yeah, let me come to a different deck. Hold on, before I do that, potential outcome for this week between Aries and this person. Potential outcome this week. Temperance could be a Sag. Five of Pentacles, three of Pentacles. I feel like someone is waiting to work things out with you. They don't want this to be a missed opportunity. They are feeling left out in the cold. They want to meet up with you, want to sit down with you, talk with you. 
They are holding on to this four of pentacles, four of wands. Mm, Aries. Make sure this person is legit. Why are all the signs getting this energy? The, all the fire signs are getting this energy. What does Aries need to know in this connection? What does Aries need to know? Forgiving and learning? Yeah, it may require forgiveness with this person. You may need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. They may ask you for your forgiveness. There's a lot of chemistry here. We see that. A bit of an obsession is what I'm getting. They're looking at you as their wish, which is what I said at the beginning. True love and keep an open mind. Ooh. You may need to keep an open mind if this person is dealing with someone else right now or keeping their options open, especially if you live at a distance from this person. Let me say that if you live at a distance from this person, this person, they may love you, but they may be having sex with other people. They may have someone occupying their time or attention while the two of you are apart. But they may tell you, oh, I want to be with you. I, you know, I have love for you. But they may be getting their sexual desires and needs fulfilled by another person is what I'm getting very strongly. Anything that this person wants to say to Aries at this time? What do they want to say? A thousand times yes. I love to see you happy. What else is coming out here? Words of affirmation. So they need to hear this or this is their love language. They love to hear words of affirmation or give you words. That's what I'm saying. This person may be saying you know, they love you and all of that. And, oh, my heart is for you. And I want to be with you. But there's some toxicity here with that devil energy. I just kept feeling a toxic energy that this person may be dealing with. They could be dealing with a Capricorn while they're uh, talking to you. You are so thoughtful. I feel like they really love... See, this is true love. We have that twice. See... They know that with you, there's true love, but they may be getting sex from someone else. I keep feeling that energy that like they're getting sex from another person. Okay. Let me come to this deck. Haven't used this deck in a while. What does this person want to say to Aries at this time? What do they want to say? What do they want to say to Aries? My life is dark and lonely without you. Your love is light. See, seeing you as their wish, their star. But they are a social party girl or party boy. That's what I'm saying. This person could be struggling with some addictions here. My money is really tight right now. They could have an addiction to spending. Okay? Overspending. Look, you are so mature. I handled everything so immaturely. What do they want to say to Aries? I know you're mad at me. Mm -hmm. I lost my job. Look at that. Like I said, this person, they may spend too much. This is why their money is tight or they may have lost a job and this is why their money is tight. I'm afraid you'll find someone else that scares me. Uh-huh. And one more. The love you give to me is something I've never experienced before. Yeah. And that's the overall feeling right here. Alcohol addiction. I'm telling you, this person is dealing with some addictions. They're dealing with some addictions and they may not want you to know. I feel like alcohol is just one of them that someone could be experiencing. I'm reading for different areas. So it'll be different for all of you what this person is really going through. But I feel like right here, this, oh, the love you give to me is something I've never experienced. So you give this person a lot of love, nurturing care, but they are dealing with some uh, demons in their closet, okay? They, they have some skeletons there, some stuff that they really need to work on before they can fully be with you or fully engage with you. Can you give us a timeline of when this person will be able to be with Aries? 
or when this person will get free from all of this baggage. Can you give us a timeline for Aries? Could be November. I know we're in this month. You may hear from this person this month. We just have a few more days left. Or it could be next November. Could be next October for some of you. Could be the 24th to the 31st. That could be significant. Okay. Could be on a Tuesday. And let's get one more. Could be in January for some of you. Okay. And let's get advice. Advice for Aries in this situation. Advice. We have compromise. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of compromising with this person to have a successful relationship with them. Okay. Some of you will realize, you know what? There's something better. You may get tired of waiting on this person to prove to you, to show you that they're ready, that they can be faithful, that they can get rid of the addictions, that they can, you know, get on the straight and narrow path, that they can give up their social life, that they can get a job. Like it could be many different things that this person is dealing with. Uh, which is why they're saying, oh, my life is dark and lonely without you. So make sure this person is not just getting with you out of codependency, okay? Just because their life is shitty, then they want to get with you and latch onto you and kind of be a leech. Make sure they're coming correct now, okay? And I feel like, you know, Aries, you don't have a problem uh, deciphering, you know, whether someone is good or bad for you. Okay, who is this person? Q is coming through. Letters. We have the letter B. We have the letter E coming out. We have the letter M. I just got Elise. Elise. Eric. For the letter E, the letter T is coming through. The letter X. The letter A is coming through. The letter G is coming through. And one more. The letter L is coming through, okay? All right, Aries, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I do look forward to hearing from you guys. If you are watching my videos and you like what I'm doing, you like the work that I do for tarot, please hit that subscription button, subscribe, you guys, join the family, and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I'm uploading a new video. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, you guys, because that helps this channel grow. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.